Welcome back guys. In this video, we're going to be using keyframes in Final Cut Pro to create some sliding text like this. So here we are in Final Cut and I'm using this clip of Georgie doing a bit of hiking. Showing off a bit, nearly falling over there. So if we want to put some text over this, we're going to go, go to the beginning of the clip. We're going to go up to the top here and tap this text icon. And then we're going to choose basic title. I'm going to drag that over the top of that clip. Let's just resize that so that it's the same length as the clip. Now with that highlighted, we're going to go up to the slider symbol in the top right and tap that to open the inspector. Now this is the text inspector here. We can double click the text and let's write text in there. Now this is where you can change your font and do all your other text type stuff. Let's increase the size a little bit. And now we're going to go to the film strip icon, click that. And we're going to be doing the work in this transform menu here. Now the X axis moves the text along the horizontal plane like this. And the Y axis moves the text on the vertical plane like this. So to get this text to slide onto the screen from the left, we're going to move the playhead to where we want the text to end up. Position it to where we want like that. And then we're going to tap this symbol here to add a keyframe. Next, we're going to go right back to the beginning of the clip, leave the playhead there, and then we're going to move this x-axis across until the text is completely off the screen. And you'll notice the final cut automatically adds another keyframe in there. You can tell it's done that because it now says delete keyframe instead of add keyframe. So that plays through like this. Okay, cool. So if we want that text to slide back off the screen, we're going to add another keyframe there. And then we're going to move the playhead to the very end of the clip. And once again, we're going to use that X axis to slide the text all the way off the screen to the left. So that plays through like this. So if you found this video useful, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our other videos. Thanks for watching, see you next time.